प्रभो निदाधिवासदी कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभो निदाधिवासदी गौभक्त श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभो निदा हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे कृष्णा डियो डेट्रिक्स दंडवत प्रणाम वेलकम टू नित्यम भगवत सेविया टुडे वी आर वेरी हैप्पी टू हैव द एसोसिएशन ऑफ हिज ग्रेस मुरली मुरारी प्रभु वेलकम प्रभु जी प्रभु जी योर माइक इज यू हैव टू पुट योर माइक डाउन माय हेड हरे कृष्णा नाउ द वॉइस इज क्लियर यस प्रभु जी इट्स वेरी क्लियर थैंक यू फॉर जॉइनिंग अस Yes, Prabhu. Uh, we can start with prayers, Prabhu. Slowly, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I will share later once you complete. I'll share the screen for the verse. Okay. Oh, my God, the most wonderful, my God, the most wonderful. Takshurun melitam yena tasmai Sri Guru Vena Maha Sri Chaitanya Mano Bishtam Sabina Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadama Yam Padatvitva Padantikam. वंदेह श्रीगुर श्रीयुतपद कमल श्रीगुर वैष्णवाम 
ಶ್ರೀರೂಪಂ ಸಾಕರಜಾತಂ ಸಗನ ರಘುನಾಥಾನ್ವಿತ ತಂಥ ಜೀವಂ ಸಾತ್ವೈದ ಸಾವದೂತ ಪರಿಜನ ಸಖಿತ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ದೇವಂ ಶ್ರೀರಾಧಾಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪಾದಾನ್ ಸಗನ ಲಲಿತಾ ಶ್ರೀ ವಿಶಾಖಾವಿತ ಏ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕರುಣಾ ಸಿಂಧು ದೀನಬಂಧು ಜಗತ್ಪದೆ ಗೋಪೇಶ ಗೋಪಿಕಾಕಾಂತ ರಾಧಾಕಾಂತ ನಮೋಸ್ತುತೆ ಸಪ್ತಕಾಂಚನ ಗೌರಾಂಗೀ ರಾಧೇ ವೃಂದಾವನೇಶ್ವರಿ ವೃಷಭಾನುಸುದೇ ದೇವಿ ಪ್ರಣಮಿ ಹರಿಪ್ರಿಯ ವಂಚಕಲ್ಪತರೂಪಸ ಕೃಪಾ ಸಿಂಧುಪ್ಯೇವ ಪತೀತಾ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯೋ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಮೋ ವಿಷ್ಣುಪಾದಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣಪ್ರಷ್ಟಾಯ ಭೂತಲೆ ಶ್ರೀಮತೆ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವೇದಾಂತ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ನಿತಿನಾಮಿ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ದೇವೇ ಗೌರವಾಣಿ ಪ್ರಚಾರಿಣೆ ನಿರ್ವಿಶೇಷ ಶೂನ್ಯವಾದಿ ಪಾಶ್ಚಾತ್ಯ ದೇಶಸಾರಿಣೆ ಉಮಗಾವದನ್ಯಾಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪ್ರೇಮ ಪದಾಯತೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣಾಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ನಾಮನೆ ಗೌರತ್ವ ಜಯ ನಮಃ ನಮ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣ್ಯ ದೇವಾಯ ಗೋ ಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮಣ ಇದಾಯ ಚ ದೈತ್ಯಾಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣಾಯ ಗೋವಿಂದಾಯ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶ್ರೀವಾಸಾದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತ ವೃಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಓಂ ತತ್ will continue prabhu uh, yes prabhu please yeah om namo bhagavate vasudevaya om namo bhagavate vasudevaya om namo bhagavate vasudevaya narayanam namaskrityam naranjayva narottamam ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಯ ಮುತೀರೇ ನಷ್ಟ ಪ್ರಾಯು ಅಭದ್ರೇಷು ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾಗವತ ಸೇವೆಯ ಭಗವತೀ ಉತ್ತಮ ಶ್ಲೋಕೆ ಭಕ್ತಿರ್ಭವತಿ ವೈಷ್ಠಿಕಿ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಫಾರ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಮೈನ್ ಆಪರ್ಚುನಿಟಿ ಫಾರ್ ಪ್ಯೂರಿಫೈಯಿಂಗ್ ಮೈ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಬೈ ರಿಸೈಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ ಭಾವದಂ ಶ್ಲೋಕಾಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಪರ್ಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಬೈ ದೇವನ್ ಗ್ರೇಸ್ ಎ ಸಿ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವೇದಾಂತ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಶೀಲ ಪ್ರಭುಪಾತ್ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಟುಡೇಸ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಈಸ್ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಕ್ಯಾಂಟೋ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಟು ಫಿಫ್ತ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಡೂ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ತ್ರೀ ಶ್ಲೋಕಾಸ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ರೋ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಸಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಟು ಶ್ಲೋಕಾಸ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಸಬ್ಸಿಕ್ವೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ಸಿ ಇನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ದಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲನೇಷನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಗಿವ್ ಐ ಟ್ರೈ ಟು ಡೂ ದಟ್ ಫೋರ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಒನ್ ಒನ್ ಮೈತ್ರೇಯ ಉಚ ಮೌತಿಕುಶುಮಸ್ವಾಗ್ಬೀರ್ ದುಕೂಲೈ ಸ್ವರ್ಣ ತೋರಣೈ ಮಹಾಸುರ ಬಿಬೀರ್ ದೂಪೈರ್ ಮಂದಿತ ತತ್ತವೈ ಮೈತ್ರೇಯ ಉಚ ಮೌತಿಕೈ ಕುಶುಮಸ್ವಾಗ್ಬೀರ್ ದುಕೂಲೈ ಸ್ವರ್ಣ ತೋರಣೈ ಮಹಾಸುರ ಬೀರ್ ದೂಪೈರ್ ಮಂದಿತ ತತ್ತವೈ Maitreya Vacha, the great sage, Maitreya continued to speak. Mauktikai, the pearls. Kushuma, the flowers. Sragbi, with garlands. Dukulai, cloth. Swarna, golden. Thoranai, by the gates. Mahasurabhi, highly perfumed. Dupai, by the instance. Manditham, decorated. Tatra tatra, here and there. Why, certainly. the great sage maitreya told vidura when the king entered the city his city it was very beautifully decorated to receive him with pearls flower garland beautiful cloth and golden gates and the entire city was perfumed with highly fragrant incense real opulence is supplied by natural gifts such as gold silver pearls valuable stones fresh flowers trees and silken cloth thus the vedic civilization recommends opulence and decoration with these natural gifts of the supreme personality of godhead such opulence immediately changes the conditions of mind and the entire atmosphere become spiritualized king prutu's capital was decorated with such highly opulent decorations 
go to the second verse of this. Chandan agru toyadra ratya chatvara margavat pushpakshata palai tokmair lajai archibir architam Chandana agru toyadra ratya chatvara margavat pushpakshata palai tokmair lajai archibir architam Chandana sandalwood aguru a kind of fragrant herb toya the water of ardra sprinkled with ratya the path of driving a chariot chatvara small parts margavat lanes pushpa flowers akshata unbroken palai by the fruits tokmai minerals lajai wet wetted grains archibihi by lamps Architam decorated. Translation by his divine grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada. Fragrant water distilled from sandalwood and aguru herb was sprinkled everywhere on the lanes, roads, and small parks throughout the city. And everywhere, decorations of unbroken fruits, flowers, wetted grains, and varied minerals and lamps all presented as auspicious panfalia. Verse number three. Swarnadi kadali stambai puha potai parikshitam taru pallava malabi sarvata samalakritam Swarnai kadali stambai Punga potai parikshitam taru pallava malabi sarvata samalakritam. Through in the, along with the fruits and flowers, kadali stamba by the pillars of banana trees, puga potai by collection of young animals by and by procession of elephants, parikshitam very nicely cleaned, taru young plant. Palplava, new leaves of mango trees, Malabihi, by garlands, Sarvata, everywhere, Samalakritham, very nicely decorated. Translation purple by Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Shala Prabhupada. At the street crossings, there were bunches of fruits and flowers, as well as pillars of banana trees and beetle nut branches. All these combined decorations everywhere looked very attractive. These three verses above what we chanted now, more or less, it is explaining to me, it's like a, conducting a festival or conducting the procession of the Lord or the, inviting a very important personality that all these things will happen. By a Pallakin or a Radhayatra, recently we celebrated Sri Krishna Janmashami, Decorated a temple nicely with flowers, bright lights, beautiful dresses, fresh garlands, arati with fragrant agarbatis, ghee lamps, scented water, blowing the conch before starting the any arati, chanting the mantras while we are doing the abhishek, okay, singing nicely during darshan, dancing, jumping, playing mridangas, playing kartals, whatever. Explain these uh, five verses. Uh, all we mostly follow on the occasion of inviting the Lord or uh, for an audi audience of uh, uh, for the public, or uh, when we are inviting a uh, uh, very better personalities. Also, it is explained here: natural gifts of the supreme personality of Godhead. See, when we are receiving a natural gift of the supreme personality of Godhead, that opulence immediately changes the condition of the mind, whatever our mind, in whatever the state of mind we are, when you are getting that uh, gift, natural gift from the Supreme Personality of Godhead, it will change the mind. Just we are watching Arati uh, of the Supreme Lord, just imagine, we are one day in the temple, we are uh, watching the Arati of the Lord. Our mind, because of something, it is hankering and it's a uh, little worried, 
uh, little worried. And uh, so we are just uh, in front of the Lord, we are standing, observing the Lord's Aarati, expecting some mercy from the Lord uh, so that we can achieve the mind's desire. Okay. So in that mood, we are uh, standing in front of the Lord. Mood is restless, anxious. Uh, in that restless mood, we are in the front of the Lord. Suddenly, one flower falls down from the garland of the Lord. It happens. Uh, immediately, this is a symptom, symptom of the mercy given by the Supreme Lord. What will be our mind status then? We will be so happy and we go, go on share the blessing to the entire family, friends and well-wishing circle. Immediately, mind is set up with the changes and sorrow will just uh, uh, go away and uh, we will get into the blissfulness. So this is a condition that when we are getting uh, some mercy of the Lord, right? This is what naturally happened to each and everyone. So the city, it was explained here, city was decorated with pearl garland, golden gates, and it's explained. Today's decoration, what is going on? You compare that uh, those decorations of a golden gate, pearl garden, so many all things. Today, our decoration going out to plastic flowers, plaster, plaster Paris boards, oh, sign boards, and laser lighting, whatsoever. Every aspect getting deviated from the nature. It's gradually, it's a Kali Yuga. Clay bricks are changed into fly ash bricks. We are, nowadays we are getting clay bricks. It's very difficult now. Wooden uh, and metal doors, uh, all those doors, you know, gone. Now it is UPVC doors, PVC doors, plastic doors, you know, all those things. There were ample availability of minerals and metals in the earthly planet previously, those uh, uh, time. But now, everywhere there is an exploitation. Even sand is become scarcity. You cannot get sand. Ordinary sand, you will not get. It's so high. One truckload of sand, they are charging 60,000, 70,000. I don't know. The people who are constructing house, they may be knowing all these uh, difficulties. And uh, moreover, they are getting artificial sand. The sandy, natural sand is not available now. They are making artificial sand. This is the situation now. End of Kavali Yuga, hopefully, uh, definitely there will not be no zero natural resources. Fuel will be vanished from the earth. No cars, no train. Huh? World may be traveling with a battery operated caster wheels. Maybe. I don't know. Even that will be scarcity. Right, you know. I, I, I feel, I imagine that's why the Kali Yuga, uh, Kalki Avatara is coming in a horse. <laughs> so, that's what I felt. By exploiting the nature, now we are struggling for our organic natural products. Is it not? Each and every house, there will be a cry for organic material today because the chemical causing so much of injury to the health and uh, all we are anchoring for natural things, which is not available now because everything has been exploited. It is also mentioned here, these words, fragrant water distilled from the sandalwood and the aguru herb was sprinkled all over the city, everywhere on the lanes, roads and small parts throughout the city. What is the condition now for us? Now in Corona, you might have seen, all of you might have seen, BBMP coming and spraying all the chemicals throughout the city to control the virus. What a deteriorating Kali Yuga, you should understand, right? So these are the three verses it's explaining about how the people inviting Prudh Maharaj uh, so happily, they are living in a wonderful situation. They are living in a very happy mood. So they will be in a position to share all these things, pernfalias, whatever they are having in the house, they are bringing to the road, even the government or the uh, Onarchy, they are uh, arranging for uh, decorating the entire city, cleaning the entire city, cleaning of entire city is a question now. Everywhere garbage, everywhere this thing, once in a while the contractor will come, if he want, he will do, otherwise he will not do cleaning. These are the things happening. Voluntarily, the people to invite somebody, uh, Prutu Maharaj, they are decorating and uh, they are very in a jubilant and a very, very happy mood. Now, let us go to verse number 421.4. Next verse. Prajastam Deepa Balibihi Sambratesha Mangalai Abhiyur Mr. Kanyascha 
नृषा कुंडल मंदिता प्रजास्त दीप बलिभि संभस्तेश मंगल अभियूर्मृष्ट कन्यश्च मृष कुंडल मंडित प्रजा सिटीजन तम टू हिम दीप बलिभि विथ लैंप संप्रत एक्युपाइड विथ अशेष अनलिमिटेड मंगल अस्पीशियस आर्टिकल अभियु came forward to welcome nrishta with a beautiful bodily luster kanyacha and the unmarried girls nrishta colliding with kundala air rings mandita being bedecked with here translation as the king entered the gate of the city all the citizens received him with many auspicious articles like lamps flowers and yogurt the king was also received by many beautiful unmarried girls whose bodies were bedecked with uh, various ornament especially with the earring which collided with uh, one another offering of natural products such as betel nut bananas newly grown wheat paddy yogurt and vermilion carried by the citizen and scattered throughout the city all are all auspicious panfilia according to the vedic civilization for receiving a prominent guest like a bridegroom a king or a spiritual master these are all used similarly a welcome offered by unmarried girls in this instance i uh, just to uh, remember when uh, the inauguration was going on for the our hari krishna hills temple that time uh even some president or sangar dayal sharma or somebody came they come to inaugurate the temple that time so many such things were uh, uh, planned and done and uh, everywhere a very jubilant mood a very uh, celebrating mood and all these small manjaris were called before we are doing the sakshusha uh, unmilitam that opening eye of the supreme lord on the first time this uh, all these manjaris were made to stand in front of him cows were made to stand in front of him like that all the great like what it was stated here uh, betel nut bananas newly grown wheat paddy yogurt vermilion everything has been shown to the lord when he is seeing first time that was considered as so very auspicious similarly a welcome offered by unmarried girls who are internally and externally clean and are dressed in nice garments and ornaments are also auspicious kumari are unmarried girls untouched by the hand of any member of the opposite sex are auspicious members of the society even today in hindu society the most conservative families do not allow unmarried girls to go out and freely or mix with boys they are very carefully protected by their parents while unmarried and after marriage they are protected by their young husbands and when elderly they are protected by their children when thus protected women as a class remain an always auspicious source of energy for man very wonderfully explained by shila prabhupad in this verse indications given how to receive a spiritual master he was a great personality including a spiritual master how to receive so many natural products provided by the supreme lord all to be utilized in the service of receiving and appreciating a great acharya and a spiritual master i remember once shila prabhupad uh, went to australia that time he was received in australia the devotees that time they brought a rolls royce to uh, take uh, um, take shila prabhupad to the temple by seeing that there was a enormous uh, media coverage and the social media where they asked a very sarcastic questions that time why a saintly person to use a huge car like a rolls royce car sila prabhupada replied in fact spiritual master is the representative of the supreme lord we can use all those natural things whatever it is provided or made in this world we can use it for the service of the service of supreme lord the representative is the spiritual master in fact sila prabhupada indicated 
that the disciples can even offer a gold car. Why ordinary sheet metal car? They are supposed to uh, offer the spiritual master a gold car. These are all ordinary, nothing, he said. So, from this mood, we should understand in the service of the Lord, the entire world is created by Him. Isha Vashyam Idam Sarvam. So that everything is made by Him. What is wrong in offering back to all the to Him or His representative? So, one who is spreading the message of the Supreme Lord got the eligibility to utilize these services from the Lord. So, Prudh Maharaj, when he was getting received, he was given all those uh, uh, proper things to receive him. Here also, I could see a word, Kundala Mandita. It is indicated here, Kundala Mandita. In this verse, it reminds of me of a Gita Govindam. Gita Govindam by Jayadeva Goswami. It was, uh, there was one wonderful song. Sanjana Chachita Nila Kalevara Pidavajana Vanamali Rade Keli Chalan Mani Kundala Mandita Kanda Yuha Smiti Sali. Like that one. Jai Jai Goswami song is there. It's a wonderful song in Gita Govindam. The meaning is Lord Krishna wears yellow garment. And his lovely, dark, complexioned body is decorated with sandalwood paste. While he enjoys loving pastime with his gopis, his jewel earring dance over his cheek as he smiles at him. Kundala Mandita Kanda Yuga Smithi Sali. So, I was remembering this Kundala Mandita indicator in this verse. Anyway, that is the explanation of uh, uh, Supreme Lord, how he dances with the gopis and uh, how beautifully his cheeks were decorated with uh, golden jewelry and which is dangling and uh, hitting each other, making a, a bell-like sound. Okay, that was explained by uh, Goswami in uh, uh, Ashtapati. So, further to this last verse of the day, it is Sanka Dundubhi Goshena 421.5 Sanka Dundubhi Goshena Brahma Goshena Saritvijam Vivesha Bhavanam Veera Tuya Mano Gadasmaya Sankha Dundubhi Goshena Brahma Goshena Charatvijam Vivesha Bhavanam Veera Tuya Mano Gadasmaya Sankha Conscious Dundubhi Kettle Drums Goshena By the sound of Brahma, Brahma, uh, Vedic, Goshena, chanting, Cha also, Ritijam, the priest, Vivesha, entered, Bhavanam, the place, Veera, the king, Suyamana, being worshipped, Gatasmaya, without pride. Translation purported by Divine Grace. When the king entered the palace, conscious, and kettle drums were sounded. Priests chanted Vedic mantras and the professional recitators offered different prayers. But in spite of all this ceremony to welcome him, the king was not, at, not the least bit affected. The reception given to the king was full of opulence, yet he did not become proud, it is stated here. It is said, Therefore, the great personalities of power and opulence never become proud. And the example is given that a tree which is full of fruits and flowers does not stand erect in pride, but instead bend downwards to show submissiveness. This is a sign of wonderful character of a great personalities. When we understand that this is the grace of the Lord, that is empowering all of us. Only grace of the Lord is empowering all of us. So it doesn't make us egocentric. That is very, very important. When we become proud of Krishna, we become humble. When we are proud of ourselves to that extent, we cannot be proud of Krishna because we are taking the credit. When we are taking the credit, we cannot be proud of Krishna. So, when we are proud of Krishna, it will be empowering us to a state of humbleness to our mind. We should understand this properly. 
otherwise it is uh, our own private will uh, take us nowhere uh, it is stated in Srimad uh, Bhavad Gita, the, the third chapter was stated, Pragate Kremanani, Gunakarmani Sarvashaha, Ahankara Vimudatma, Kartamiti Manyate, Pragate Kremanani, Gunakarmani Sarvashaha. The spirit soul, bewildered by the influence of the false ego, thinks himself with the doer of activity that are actually carried out by the three modes of material nature. We know the three modes of natural nature is under the control of whom? It is the Supreme Lord. So, here in purport, Srila Prabhupada explains two persons, one in Krishna consciousness and the other in material consciousness, working on the same level, may appear to be working on the same platform. But there is a wild gulf of difference in their respective position. Sorry. There is a wide gulf of difference in their respective position. The person in material consciousness is convinced by false ego that he is the doer of everything. He does not know that the mechanism of body is produced by material nature, which works under the supervision of Supreme Lord. The materialistic person has no knowledge that ultimately he is under the control of Supreme Lord Krishna. The person in first ego take all credit for doing everything independently. And that is a symptom of nascence. Very wonderfully, Prabhupada explaining. He does not know that this grass and subtle body is a creation of material nature. Material nature is under the order of Supreme Personality of Godhead, it is working. And as such, his bodily and mental activities should be engaged in the service of the Supreme Lord in Krishna consciousness. The ignorant man forgets that the Supreme Personality of Godhead is known as Prisikesha or the master of senses. Master of senses for the metal body. But due to long misuse of the senses, ourselves what we are doing, our senses are misused in the, in the point of sense gratification. So we finally bewildered by the first ego and makes so the, that is making us to forget our eternal relationship with the Supreme Personality of Godhead. That was very clearly indicated. Ahankara Vimudatma. The basic principle of material bondage is Ahankara Vimudatma. This ego. I am the doer, I am the controller, I am the enjoyer, I am the proprietor. All these things, you know, which is this Ahankara Vimudatma. This Atma, they will be never be peaceful. Always they will be pride, proud over something and they will be always in the hankering mood only. They will not get into the mood of happiness. Only when we think that everything belongs to the Supreme Lord and under his control only everything is happening, nothing is in my hand. In that mood, it's very difficult for us to get it. But somehow, if you will have to get to that level, then the happiness will automatically flow towards us. Okay. Unless you connect to the Supreme Lord, the power source, we will not get any happiness. Very clearly in the first sloka of uh, uh, Brahma Samhita stated, Ishwara Paramakrishna Satchiddhananda Vigraha Anadir Adi Govinda Sarva Karana Karanam. It's a cause of all causes. Ananda is also a cause. That is coming from the Supreme Lord. Ishwara Paramakrishna Satchiddhananda Vigraha. So that we should understand that. So we should not be like a Hankara Vimudatma. So that is put us into the uh, I am the doer, I am the controller mentality and putting it as in the material bondage. So, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu described how like a tree with a good ripe fruit of spiritual qualities, we should offer all respect and bow down to Krishna in every situation. And to bow down to Krishna in the heart of all living beings is the appropriate way. Bowing down to Krishna means bowing down to each and every one who got Krishna in their heart. That is a very, very important. So that it is like a, a fruit, a ripe fruit laden tree, how it is bowing down. Srimad Bhadam describes how the tree of Vrindavana are bowing down due to their heavy fruits. Heavy fruits is bowing down. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu explains this by describing how a person who has a fruit of good qualities like tree 
with good fruits, the weight of the fruit causes the tree to bow down to everyone. But a tree that doesn't have good fruit stand up very straight, erect, doesn't bow to anyone. A person who has a character, Amanina Manadena, Amanina Manadena Sitaniya Sadahari, that is without expecting any respect from others, but always giving all the respect to all others. Uh, in that Amanina Manadena mood, that character, if we eager to offer respect to divinity, the spiritual essence within everyone, everywhere. And a person who doesn't have that character, very egoistically think, I am higher, I am greater and, uh, than all others you feel. We can test it. We can test a little whether you have made a genuine spiritual advancement or not. Very easy. If you think that you are better than anyone, that means you are in the spiritual diseased condition. It is explained by Srila Prabhupada. You know, in the spiritual disease condition only, we are thinking we are better than others. Otherwise, we will be thinking we are always lower than all others. That is a humble state of mind. We may consider ourselves fortunate and may want to share that fortune too with the people. Because we are considering we are all very fortunate. All others are little lesser fortunate like that we sometimes we feel. So we want to share our fortune with other people. But our fortunate not because of me or better than me, we cannot say. Because all that grace, you have, uh, grace of uh, Srimadhi Radharani and Krishna's grace, you are getting all the tapalans. It doesn't mean, make me better than you. Because the potential of the grace is within you also. So I bow down to that potential within you. That is the correct way of doing it. Further, on this uh, the concept of the tree, it was shattered by Mahaprabhu. Fruit-bearing trees will bow down like a humble personality. At the same time, only the fruit which is bear, only the tree which is bearing the fruit will be stoned. The people will stone the uh, tree, is it not? To get fruits. Because that is better than other trees. They will keep throwing stones. If somebody has to take a stone and throw it at you, what it means? It takes a lot of efforts for him to throw the stone. You will have to go take the stone and throw it at you. There are, they are throwing at you because you are of some value. You are the valuable target. You would throw a stone. Who will throw a stone at someone who is not worth anything? Is it not? If one, uh, somebody is not worth anything, who will throw a stone at him? So, we have been stoned quite a bit for a long time. But uh, over the years, many of the people have turned around. But uh, people nowadays are not even stoning. They are standing below the tree and expecting the fruit to fall down on their mouth. That is uh, always uh, how it is. Everywhere you want the easiest way. It's all right. If the people throw stones at you, it's all right. Bearing a fruit is more significant than being stoned. Just because somebody is going to throw stones at us, should we remain without fruits in our life? No, not possible. That would be a tragedy. It is all right if a people throw stones at you. Bearing fruits is more significant than being stoned. Bearing the fruits is what makes your life significant and worthwhile. Stones are no stones. What does it matter? They will only throw stones at you, but they will never cut you down. That you should understand. They can throw stones to take your fruits because they want your fruits. Anybody who has known the value of the fruits, who have tasted the sweetness, they throw stones at you, but they never think cutting you down. That is uh, important. But if you don't have fruits, uh, most probably they would cut down and make furniture out of you. <laughs> so it is better that you throw stones at you and eat your fruits. That's always okay. That's what uh, Mahaprabhu says. Please see that there is a uh, fruit and flowers. That is very important. It is not just uh, stones that comes to your way. When you are having bearing a fruit or flower, it is not the stones alone. The bees will come, birds will come, animals will come, and the people will come. Once you have borne fruits, what is the use of nobody to taste your fruit? Let us say there is a mango tree. Small children, little children come and they are looking for the stone. Uh, they immediately eager to get the fruits. 
when they look for the stone they found a lot of mangoes are fall on the ground automatically because it's ripe for mangoes then what they will do they will go pick it up and start eating their intention of taking the stone and throwing will be gone if they want their stomach become full they would not throw stones because they were they so that if you start dropping your fruit willingly who is going to bother you you know uh, stones can be minimized by that okay so give your mercy to everyone all your ripened fruits of your mercy you give it to everyone whom ever you meet okay mahaprabhu very clearly said to he instructed to nityananda prabhu yara deke utare kaho krishna upadesha ha jeevo daya krishna naam sarva dharma cha it is stated so whatever the thing we are having krishna name yara deko tare kaho krishna upadesha that whatever krishna's teaching we will have to spread it through bhagavad gita now we will have to shrimad bhavadam all that we will have to distribute there was a call from the temple for the badra purnima we will have to uh, increase the distribution of shrimad bhavadam and all we will have to support them to find out how best we can uh, distribute the bo bow them so that more and more great uh, other souls will become greater than us that is our intention should be okay further even by great qualification one cannot satisfy the supreme personality of godhead that what we should understand however one can satisfy the lord simply by devotion service that what it is stated gajendra did this so gajendra did all his uh, last moment he did and he received the audience of the lord and that's the lord was satisfied with him and uh, this also stated by prahlad maharaj prahlad maharaj is explaining manye dana bijena rupa tap shruta chadas tejas prababa bala purusha buddhi yoha naradanya hi bhavanti parashya pruso bhaktiya tushto bhagavan gaj yutapaya manye i consider he says danyu riches abhijana aristocratic family rupa personal beauty tapa austerity shruta knowledge from studying the vedas oja sensory powers teja bodily effulgence prabhava influence bala bodily strength paursha intelligence buddhi intelligence yoga mystic power na not all these are not aradhanya for satisfying indeed so he says nothing can satisfy the supreme personality of godhead it is like uh, how the king of elephant gajendra got into prahlad mara says one may possess wealth in aristocratic family beauty austerity education sensory expertise luster influence physical strength diligence intelligence and mystic yogi power but i think that even all these qualification one cannot satisfy the supreme personality of god that what prahlad maharaj says however one can satisfy the lord simply by devotion service gajendra did this and thus the lord was satisfied with him so devotion service prahlad maharaj he explained the famous verses there you know prahlad vacha shravanam kirtanam vishnu smaranam pada sevanam archanam vandanam dasyam sakyam atmanivedanam iti pumsharpita vishnu bhaktischa navalakshana kritaye bhagavanadda tanmayana iti uttamam prahlad maharaj saying hearing chanting about the transcendental holy name form qualities panfilia and past times of the lord vishnu remembering them serving the lotus feet of the lord offering the lord respectful worship with 16 type of anfalia offering prayers to the lord becoming his servant considering the lord one's best friend sakyam and surrendering every thing unto him atmanivedanam in other words serving him with body mind and words whatever it is these nine prasas are accepted as pure devotion service one who has dedicated his life to service of krishna through this nine methods should be understood to be the most learned person for he has acquired a complete knowledge here in this verses in bhagavatam recently for the last two three chapters what we see there are two type of characters one is a uh, 
the King Vena, one particular character, and one is Prut Maharaja in the same dynasty, right? It is stated when, you are, when they talk about King Vena, it is stated he was very proud. It was uh, Prut Maharaj was so very humble, right? It is stated here in, the, in these particular verses, Prut Maharaj, how humble he is. He is not even accepting the reception given by all those great uh, people who are in the city. So when they talk about uh, Vina, King Vina, Sardu Nirpastana Unnadosta Asta Viba Vibudi Bihi Avamena Mahabahan Shabida Sambavita Swata. The King Vina, when the king ascended to the throne, he became all powerful with eight kinds of opulence normally. Consequently, he became too proud by virtue of his false prestige. He considered himself to be the greater than anyone. Thus, he began to insult all the great personalities. This is a situation of King Vena. Srila Prabhupada says in this verse, the word Ashtavibhudi. Ashtavibhudi means eight types of opulences. Very, very important. The king is supposed to possess all the eight types of opulences. Ashtama Siddhi. Is it not? Anima, magima, lagima, like that. With the dint of mystic yoga practice, king generally acquires these eight opulence. Who, who are those kings? These kings were called Rajarishis. Those Rajarishis are trying to get all these six, eight opulences. Kings who are very great sages. By practicing mystic yoga, a Rajarishi could become a smaller than the smallest, Anima, greater than the greatest, Lagima, who is a Whatever they say, you will get Mahima, right? A Rajarishi could also create a kingdom, bring everyone under his control and rule everyone. That is the beauty of that uh, yogic power of a Rajarishis. These were some of the opulence of a king. But King Vena, however, was not practiced in yoga, but he became very proud. His royal position was nonetheless, he was uh, thinking that he is in a very top position because he was very uh, not very considerate he began to misuse his power and insult the personalities. So this, uh, even now it is happening in, uh, in the Kali Yuga, it is more and more happening. The people who are ruling, you know, you can find out somebody will be very, very uh, sober. Somebody will be very adamant. Somebody will be making all the opulence use it for their own benefit, for their welfare of the family. You know, uh, all these things, uh, even now it is happening. Th those people are only surviving in Kali Yuga. Okay. They think that is the fittest. Fittest of the survival means that is the fitness. The fitness, that is not the fitness for going back to Godhead. No kind material qualification is means for satisfying the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Right? As stated in Bhagavad Gita, only by devotion service can Lord be known. Bhakti Maam Abhijanati. Unless the Lord is pleased by the service of a devotee, Lord does not reveal himself to anyone. Naham Prakasha Sarvasya Yohamaya Sambhitaha. This is the verdict of all Sastras. Neither by speculation nor by material qualification can one understand and approve the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So, what we see here now, uh, King Prut Maharaj, when he was entering to the city, the city was so beautifully. This, all these five verses, only explaining about how beautifully uh, city has been decorated, how what are the people coming to the street in a, what are the jubilant mood they are celebrating, and what are the panphalia they are decorating, and how they are inviting. All this only is explained. Not much of philosophical questions and others, but uh, this is explained. Still, from these verses, what we could understand, how to receive the great personalities, who are all the great personalities as far as we are concerned, our acharyas, our spiritual masters, all these people. And uh, not only that, day to day, we will have to invite the Lord, you know, in the Mangalarati, in the Darshanarati, and Sayanarati, we will have to make him seem like all these things, you know, how opulently we will have to do to the Lord. We will have to, in our core of our heart, we will have to take, whether it is in our house or in our uh, temple, we will have to feel the Lord is there, 100% there. It is not that you will have to imagine that the Lord is there. The Lord is already there. His hand is spread all over. Isa Varsham Idam Sarvam. 
he is everywhere his hands leg eyes everything everything is spread all over is it not he know he, he can uh, he know you what you are doing even in the dream what you are thinking lord knows is it not if you go out there is a sun above you eye of the supreme lord as stated in bhagavad gita in the night moons are there so many stars are there everything is seeing you air is there that is one of his opulence you know wind is wind is there which can feel you what you are doing right supreme personality of god head can understand what you are and how you are so when you are giving a such a great personality wonderful personality who is the cause of all causes if you want to receive him how much opulently you will have to receive him wonderful dresses in the um uh, janmashmi i saw i am very proud that uh, i don't have that capabilities the great madajis how beautifully they made the dress wonderful dresses each and every time when madajis making a new dress i was very much uh, uh, spellbound because so many uh, things they are doing in that uh, very very minute uh, work uh, so many uh, stones they are embedding into the dress and eh? and beautifully making how nicely tailoring the uh, those things for the lord so much devoted madajis are there in our temple so like that each and every one of us when we are inviting the lord like this you know and uh, we will have to put our all the full opulent things naturally available is it not uh, see they talk about banana stem mango leaves bananas eh? betel nut everything it is naturally available all the fragrances like a sandalwood agru all these available and we should utilize in the service of the lord by that lord will be very pleased and when you chant the holy name of the lord hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare when we go on chant go on chant that will make uh, lord to be very happy he will go on put us into the proper service so that we will be happy lord will be happy entire world will be happy so that we can live a very uh, humble and wonderful life so time is now uh, for me to finish the uh, thing so i will close this and uh, i will wait for your feedback or uh, any of your uh, uh, comments which uh, i happy to take it or some of the points if you feel that uh, it can be added i am very happy to know about it hari krishna Hare Krishna, Bridget, and Ruth, Pranam. Thank Hello. you for the wonderful explanation of these verses. Uh, firstly, helping us understand what real opulence is and how to receive a respected personality like a spiritual master or an, any other important personality, and all the way to understand how to receive Lord. And then uh, you have really uh, very well elaborated the point of uh, from the analogy of a tree and a tree with the fruits. Uh, how a great personality with a character always bends down with submissiveness thank you very much prabhu ji hari krishna devotees can unmute themselves to share any reflections or if they have any questions hari krishna this is gorak hari krishna dr pram prabhu ji there is one point which is really stuck me is that when we are proud of krishna then we become humble and mm. we are proud that we can that be proud of krishna that's mm. a really practical and uh, very valuable thing to Thank you so much. Hare Krishna Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Prabhu. Dandar Pranam Prabhu Ji. Dandar Pranam Prabhu. Very, very nectarian class Prabhu. Hare Krishna Prabhu. The tree analogy is really struck. <laughs> When the fruits are fallen, children will not throw stone. <laughs> <laughs> so very somebody nice. stoning us, we should enjoy that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you Prabhu. Thank Thank you. Krishna. So nice. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. very nice thank you mr jai babu the wonderful early in the morning it was it was really very nice Hare all your analogies were, were very very wonderful thank you alex so nice of you so nice of you all glory to shila prabhu pad okay yeah. the welcoming part of the prabhu maharaj was excellent prabhu hari hari <laughs> how meaningfully you explained it mm. it was very Thank you so much, Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. He is Supreme Lord Himself, you know. He is a incarnation of Supreme Lord. Hare Krishna. Thank you for the wonderful class, Prabhu.
Hari Hari Mother Ji, so nice from Mysore. I am getting the blessings. The point that touched me was the crowd of us. We cannot be proud of Krishna and vice versa. Absolutely, nice point, Prabhu. All we have to learn that I am also learning. So, if there is uh, no much questions, so that you can do your start your working. <laughs> I just saw John the end. Lava Matra Sadhu Sangha. Hari, 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 Prabhuji. So nice, Prabhu. You are all great person. I will have to hear from you. Lotus mouth. I will have to hear from you, Prabhuji. Lava Matra Sadhu. Really, it is. Prabhu, I just. Are they not putting this in YouTube? I'm not seeing nowadays on YouTube this uh, or our organization. Can you send a link also? Can you send a link also in the group? I've been searching and it's not coming. Can you? Mm, some link uh, they can send in the WhatsApp so that uh, yeah, you can see it. Yeah. Sure. Thank you, Prabhuji. Prasad Yeshwar Prabhu will be in a position to help you, Prabhuji. For everyone who was missing the classes, they can see. No, no, he will uh, send it. Yeah, so Hare nice. Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Prabhu. Thank you. So nice. So nice. I hope your son is okay. Son is doing well. Yeah, yeah, Prabhu. Getting, getting well. I am also trying my best. Lord's hand. <laughs> Everything in the hand of the Lord. All of you are there to bless him. Bless him. He recently got uh, initiated yeah, by our Guru Maharaj also. Prahlada Prasanna Atma Das. So, this is one of our... Uh, Oh, member of your society. <laughs> Wonderful. All you. Hare Krishna. Pray for him. So, Vanchakalpataru Vasya Kripa Sindhu Pee Vacha Patita Nam Pavane Pyo Vaishnav Vyo Namonama Ananda Kodi Vaishnav Indaki Jai Vyashila Prabhupada